We will continue with the verse 48. And I will read the verse before we continue with the purport. No. O Devi, Goddess, when will I most affectionately bring the remnants from Krishna's lotus-like mouth that were given to me by Danishta before you. Sri Radhe. Oh. <clears throat> oh Devi, when will I most affectionately bring the remnants from Krishna's lotus-like mouth that were given to me by Danishta before you. Yeah. So in his commentaries, Ananta Babaji prepared us in many ways so that we can understand and relish Lila which is coming now. When we were reading first time, he was talking about importance to be absorbed in Swarupvesh so that we can understand and relish. And he also said that this is the mood of Manjaris, that they are very close to Radhika. And they understand completely in their hearts her feeling and the feelings of her lover. And because of that, they are rendering the service secretly. Very secretly. Because it's the question of Paraki above. I just made a small introduction because Baba is trying to prepare us in his commentary Jananda Maharaj also was talking about this. Gurudev, of course, explaining very deeply the importance of this minus, feeling of minus. You are mine and I'm yours. One thing more, and giving yes. chance to the manjari, giving chance to the manjari dasi, to to develop more power last yes. more ananda by that. You cannot miss this point. This is means we love Parkia Bhav. Only in Parkia Bhav you get the chance to the Darsi that she can also get the benefit of the confidential pastime. Yes, good. Sakya, I cannot do that. This is most important. Unnat Ujjwala Rasa is this. Yes. Ujjwal Rasa was there, but the son of Jananda Maharaj, he said one day, Unnat Ujjwal, what is the Unnat 
what is the developed by Garanga Mahaprabhu, that is Parthi Arasma. Only the associate who is very close to Radha and Krishna, they can only relish that. If not, then they cannot reach in Krishna train. Today, Ram Baba is a very beautiful thing from Chaitanya Chaitamrita. I want that again, he said, and you listen to that. My, my, give my. Yes, uh, Suniti was reading uh, Shloka. When will I walk the path? When will I be able walking on the crown of the Vedas? Correct me if I don't remember well. Uh, go along the pathway in Braja with the paraphernalia that I used for the. Uh, for the Yugala Kishora that I will be using to serve the Yugala Kishora. So uh, I, maybe I, I will not be able to say everything that I said this morning, but uh, very shortly uh, explained. I mentioned the shloka from Chaitanya Charitamrita, where Krishna Das Kaviraj says, uh, Satatam smaranam vishnur vishmartavyo najatuchit. One should always remember Vishnu and never forget him. Sarva vidhi nisheda siu etayoreva kinkaram. All the recommendations and all the prohibitions of the scriptures serve. These two uh, commandments, these two rules. So when I read this shloka, I also read the purport of uh, Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. And in the purport, Prabhupada says uh, Krishna, not Vishnu. No? He was with switching um, parentheses, he wrote Krishna. So the question came into my mind, but why then uh, uh, Krishna Das Kaviraj quotes this shloka where Vishnu is uh, mentioned and not Krishna? So the answer is that by following all the recommendations of the Vedas, all the prohibitions and all the recommendations, one cannot reach Krishna. One can only reach Vishnu. If he does everything properly, he will at the topmost reach uh, Vishnu. He cannot reach Krishna. Why? Because Krishna does not like to be worshipped. We cannot go to Raja and <laughs> offer Arati to Krishna. He's a coward boy. <laughs> He doesn't want. He doesn't want to be worshipped. He wants uh, to taste some kind of love, which is similar to what the human beings experience. That means that um, there can be friendship. There can be a loving relationship in Vatsalyaras as a parent, mother, or father, or an elderly person who has some kind of affection for the little boy, Krishna. Or uh, we can, of course, enter into uh, Dasya, uh, Radha Dasya. That means Manjari Bhav. And I believe most of the people who are uh, listening to me right now are trying to develop this kind of Rasa. So for this, uh, we certainly uh, 
in at least according to uh, the most important teachers, acharyas, mahajans, we have we can mix, we can follow some kind of rules which stimulate our feelings in um, raga anuga bhakti. So it is not that we should not follow any rules. We should follow those rules who we can follow with our heart, who stimulate, who open our heart and support our feelings. So those rules we can follow. Actually, we should follow some rules. But the most important thing is to develop some loving relationship because this is what actually uh, Krishna uh, is looking for. He's not looking for some kind of worship. And neither is Radha looking for some kind of worship. Radha and Krishna are actually inseparable. Uh, Radha, Krishna, Eka, Atma. They're one soul, two bodies, two forms. The two forms uh, serve the purpose of exchanging loving dealings. And the Manjaris, in Parakya Bhav, they cannot show their feelings uh, openly. They're hidden. They're hiding because their feelings would not be appreciated by some of the uh, adhyatmika, uh, the eternal companions that they're, uh, with which they're sharing these lilas. So I don't want to talk too much. Uh, I'm sorry I get carried away, Guru Deva. Thank you. Yeah, beautiful. Huh? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you. That so we want to say, we want to know that Vishnu Bhakti and what is Krishna Bhakti. Yes. You want I, to know what? You explain very nicely. Thank mm -hmm. you. The difference between Vishnu Bhakti and Krishna. Mm. Okay. Yes, so this is this is the, the, the difference eh, in, in the by the bhakti, we are following the rules, but we will never actually reach Krishna because Krishna cannot be achieved with rules and regulations. He <laughs> yeah. cannot be achieved. Wow. Yeah. Only with some loving relationship, we can reach Krishna. That's what he is looking for. Yeah. yeah. Well, thank, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. Yes. Thank you very much, Ram Baba. So these words, like Gurudev said, this is very clearly explains Baba La Sarati. Manjari Baba. Because Tulasi wants to serve Radhika with full affection and feelings of minus. So this is the example of Bavola Sarati. And she is here, messenger actually. Duti. Messenger of love. She is bringing from Yavat to Nandishwar the sweets which Radhika cooked and put all love in these sweets. So she is bringing the message of love to Krishna. And we can see in 49 words, he is tasting this. And she is again duty, bringing back to Radhika. His flying kisses, his love. And this is the most confidential service. Now I will, I will read the Lila, which starting. Meanwhile, in Yavat, after sending Tulasi to Nandishwara, Sri Radhika has fainted out of powerful feelings of separation from Krishna. 
and Sakis are not able to bring her back to her senses. Then Tulasi comes back from Nandishwar. This is the role of Manjaris. And it's very nicely, simple way explain how Sakis are not able to bring out from this unconscious state Radhika. In Krishna Bhavanamrita, it is said, even cool things like a lotus steams, lotus pollen, ushira, <coughs> it's some kind of etheric oil, camphor, sandal paste, and lotus flowers were not able to bring down Gandharvika's hot fever of separation from Krishna. Just then, one Sakhi, and it's not ordinary Sakhi, it's Tulasi, came from Nandishwara and began to sprinkle Radhika's ear holes with drops of the nectar-like stories about Mohan. Being ordered by Lalita. Lalita ordered Tulasi, please help us and sprinkle stories, kata, Krishna kata, sprinkle in Radhika's ears. Yeah. <laughs> This is Babola Sarati. Wow. It's not water. It's good. Yeah. Sri Radhika immediately comes back to her senses, sits down and says, Oh, Saki, in my dream, my desert-like ears suddenly felt a shower of nectar. Yeah. This is the effect of Krishna Kata. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But this, it's not, Krishna Kata is not every Krishna Kata. It must be done through proper bow. In my dream, my desert-like ears suddenly felt a shower of nectar. Lalita says, O oh, fair-faced Saki, Sumuki, it is Tulasi Manjari who has come back from the abode of the queen of Vraja. Yashoda. 
she brought you back to your senses by sprinkling you with the nectar of your friend Krishna's pastimes. Wow. So yeah. when, we, when we are listening words of Acharyas, we have chance to be sprinkled with their Mahavanis. Mm. Swamini sees Tulasi before her and embraces her. Swaminiji has an extraordinary love for Tulasi. She knows that Tulasi has come back after serving her wholeheartedly. What was that service? Feeding Krishna with her own hands because Radhika gave her all feelings and, and said, do it like I would like to do it. Be the messenger of my love and feed him as I am doing she knows that Tulasi has come back after serving her wholeheartedly. Again, Tulasi serves her Swamini in an extraordinary way by sprinkling her ears with the nectar of Krishna's afternoon pastimes. <laughs> afternoon pastimes. When Radhika is Yavat and she cannot come and meet her lover, but through Tulasi, through her kinkari, she is serving Mohana. Swamini asks Tulasi, what did mother Yashoda say? And Tulasi answers, Hey, Shamaju, how can I describe Mother Yashoda's affection as she held her forehead on mine, calling me your maid servant? How can I describe her motherly affection to you and to me also, because I am yours? That is the perfection in how Jasuda everywhere give the my basalitas. When the your sarup is fixed, you do not deviate from that. Mother Jasoda is fixed in Basadia. He see everyone like a child. No difference. That is Basadia. And Manjari fixed in his Manjari vow. 
not one day Sakhi, one day Radha, one day. It's not. But now it always takes in Bhavalas only to be happy with the Radha, Krishna is happy. Our nature to move in the bodily consciousness, sense consciousness, and what I like, I want to feel that. No. So Radha, Radha Ras Sudhaniji 217 and 2. One, 139. 139, yes, good. Is written that Radha's Bhakta is totally fixed in Radha. Radha not either. Even the Vedas is uh, lower than that, they go. Rule regulations. Still there, there is no Radha Das. So Tulas is continuing. Lovingly, she, Mother Yashoda, held her forehead on my forehead. Wow and inquired about your welfare. Yeah. Intoxicated by ecstatic love. Yeah. This, like you said, Gurudev, Yashoda is intoxicated with motherly love. So if someone wants to follow Vatsalya Mush, he has to take a shelter of Mother Yashoda because Mother. she is embodiment of motherly love. You see Mother Mary also is in, in a motherly love. Anyone who sees and that is the beauty of your first time of this nature. Mm. <laughs> How much love the Queen of Vraja gave me, knowing me to be yours. Uh. Only knowing that time you she gave me that like a she did you. Yeah. Uh, so and I'm proud. Actually Tulasi is proud because of that. Yeah. I am proud on my Radhika. Yes. Mm -hmm. That I am your dad. Yes. <laughs> yes. <coughs> so I got it. I got it. <laughs> so we continue. Yes. Yeah. If no one has to share something. <laughs> I need to share. Yes, Jananda, please. Mike, please. <laughs> so this Torashi is like a shadow of Radhika or, or a representative of Radhika. So Raghunath Das Goswami is acting it's Swarupa Besha. So I'm feeling our Sadaka Besha. So we are a kind of shadow of Gurudev. So we may doing something for Seba or you know Radha Mohan Seba or, or, or some sharing. 
something. Our consciousness, our consciousness should be one with our Guru Dev, our Swami. So we are not doing by myself. We are doing uh, on behalf of Guru Dev. We are a kind of shadow of Guru Dev. We are like a we kind of duty of Guru Dev. Or Swami. So if we could fix in that consciousness, then uh, our Sadaka they has consciousness and Swarupa they has consciousness, it becomes same one. That is our uh, should be our sadhana. That's uh, I I feeling like this. Thank you, Jayanand Maharaj. Thank you very much. Swamini pulls Tulasi on her lap and repeatedly asks her. He has eaten nicely, hasn't he? I couldn't cook so nicely. I am sure he didn't like the sweets. You were close by, weren't you? Swamini, thoroughly questions to Lassi and fortunate to Lassi gives sweet answers to all questions. Thus, rendering wonderful service by submerging Swamini in the nectar ocean of talks about Mohana. Danishta has given me some remnants of Krishna's food and I brought it with me for you. We can see here in this small paragraph how Radhika is insecure in her feelings. I couldn't cook so nicely, she is saying. I'm sure he didn't like the sweets. When the love is so intense, lovers sometimes feeling insecure because he wants to completely give the pleasure to be loved. And because of this intense desire, very, very intense desire, one contradictory emotion appears. Oh, I'm not sure that I didn't, did my seva well. Yesterday, in the evening, in our creation Zoom Sangha, we were reading the words from Radha Rasa Sudanidi 62, where Radhika is preparing Kunja with her own lovely hands. And she's doing all these sweet details. 
lighting the lamps, preparing the beds of flowers, all these small instances. But in one moment, she is afraid that she didn't done her seva well. <laughs> this is the symptom of love. Yeah. She didn't say, oh, now my seva is done, everything is perfect, and he must be satisfied. <laughs> no, this is the, it's not the mood of devotion. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because she is always giving when we have a mood of taking we can say okay I done my job my seva and the Gurudev has to be satisfied Radhika has to be satisfied no I am full I am useless Whatever I do, I am doing wrong. <laughs> this is the proper <laughs> Baba. <laughs> Radhika is teaching us. So, Shiradika is like a chataki bird that doesn't eat anything else but the nectar from Krishna's lips. As soon as she hears about this nectar, the thirst of her ears and her heart is immediately quenched. Didn't he say anything to you? She's asking to Lassi. How can he, in front of his superiors, to Lassi's answering? So we can see here is a very difficult situation. Radhika has difficult situation in Yavat, and Krishna also has very difficult situation in Nandishwa. So this Bhavola Sarati is so important, and it must be done secretly. And only Manjari Kinkari can do this. Tulasi, oh, sorry. With his eyes, he asked me if he could meet you tonight in Vrindavana. And I told him also with the hints from my eyes. Surely you will meet her. <laughs> this is conversations with the eyes. Exchanging the messages. And we can see how Krishna is surrendering to Manjari. Completely. This is Parakya Bhava. Hidden talk. Yeah. Bamini says, Tulasi, look at me once. 
I'm so unfortunate that I couldn't see him personally. Let me see if he is hidden in your eyes or not. Wow. <laughs> what to say? And she gazes into Lassie's eyes without blinking. Her eyes are full of tears and her body is shivering of ecstatic love. When I look into your eyes, I can understand that you have seen him. <laughs> Otherwise, your eyes could never have been so beautiful. So this is the example also of duty. When the message between Radhika and Mohan is transferred in the most hidden place. Eyes. No, oh, I remember sometimes Krishna is going so far that in the middle of the elders during supper, dinner, secretly he is touching with his fingers of hand feet of manjaris. You know all this beautiful little and this this secret signs no one can see and no one can understand <laughs> and whatever finger of Tulasi's feet Krishna touches he is selling he is saying something should I meet your Swamini then Manjari putting the feet on his head who can do this <laughs> who can do this who can put the feet on Krishna's hand and say yes yes you will do it <laughs> then Krishna is answering where in which kunja and Manjari puts another finger on his feet and say don't worry I will tell you in this kunja so this is the secret language of love which I understood from Gurudev who is the expert <laughs> of this infusion without infusion of rasic devotees in the heart it's not possible to enter in this secret of rasa When I look into your eyes, Radhika is saying to Tulasi, I can understand that you have seen him. Otherwise, your eyes could never have been so beautiful. This is joking. 
Swamini says, what a wonderful service Tulasi is rendering by caring Krishna's picture to Swamini in her eyes. No. Blessed is this maid servant. Now, Shramit, uh, sorry, now Srimati starts to take her meal. How wonderful is Tulasi's expertise in devotional service. I would like to share a little bit. Please, yeah. Suniti, interrupt me. <laughs> no, I'm very uh, touched by your words, actually. And I was feeling when Swamini looks into her manjari's eyes, that uh, all the all the senses of the manjari's they belong to Radhika. All her activities are not different from the service to Swamini. So when she looks at Krishna, or, or better, when Krishna looks at her to, to get a message, she's catching also his feelings and his desires. In this case, her eyes are like a camera. <laughs> and then when the moment comes for Swamini to look into her eyes, she is really actually seeing these desires of Krishna in there. Because they are the transparent media of love. They can kind of like catch this moments and his desires and that's why Swamini really will see this. So they use all their senses like this. When Swamini is in separation, they will also massage her like he would massage her to give her the feelings of meeting in the time of separation. How they do this? Because they can see everything, they can feel all their exchanges. And they can even feel how Mohan is massaging Swamini. So they will catch this with their transcendental senses. They feel it and they keep it like in a treasure chest of their services. They will open this treasure chest and in the appropriate moment, they will do it just exactly like this. They become a complete channel of, of uh, their exchange and they will please Swamini with the movements or the eyes of the, you know, of Krishna's eyes and their eyes or Krishna's touch and their touch. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. I want to say one thing. Yeah, opposite is also saying when Krishna meet Manjari and Krishna can smell Manjari's voice fragrance, then he remember Radha. Like this so opposite side is the same. So interesting. So, so, so manja is like a transparent medium, medium, and also Guru Dev also Guru Manjari. Guru Manjari also like kind of transparent kind of like media. So like uh, Radha is feeling Guru Guru Manjari Guru Dev is. Uh, uh, how to say, it's being deflected upon us. So if we don't have any ego, or if we are pure, we could also, we could catch 
their mood. So in that sense, we need more feeling. If we are kind of too much philosophy, too much mental, then our mind is very hard. We should not perceive that good day is feeling. That's I. I yeah. Very nice. Mm. Mm. Gurudev, you want to say something? <laughs> so we can see how fortunate Tulasi is because she can directly see the Lila and serve Lila. But it's always but. <laughs> we, like uh, sadakas, are also fortunate to relish this lila through his or her words. And according to intensity of our bhava, be present in our mind, in our pure heart, like Jananda Maharaj said, without ego, in that lila. Yeah. Mm. Um, Baba? Uh, how do, Just press, press the button and it will be green. <coughs> uh, yes, I would like to, uh, Jananda Maharaj, to very shortly say he last last sentence about too much philosophy or because that's where my uh, desire to say something came up. I would like you to repeat oh, okay. what you said at the end of your so, like a Guru Dev, Guru Manjari is kind of transparent, mm -hmm. like a like a like a media and like a media. And uh, if like a disciples' heart is very very heart is very hard, too much thinking, too much mental platform, then we could not perceive Guru Dev's feeling means Swaminis or, or Manjari's feeling, that's I. Yeah. You said in case there is too much in between. philosophy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? too much philosophy yes. is different. Yes, I wanted to uh, <clears throat> not quote because I don't remember word for word Narayan Maharaj in the hidden path of devotion. He speaks about the importance of following rules and regulations. That means to mix Raganuga with Vaidhi. He says we should follow rules which are Bhava Sambandhi. Bhava Sambandhi means not rules where our desire to conquer is prevalent, because that is Vaidhi. I do more, I follow more, I try to uh, make progress with my own endeavor. So that's why he says it is very important to follow those rules which are supporting natural feelings, feelings that are already there. So I just wanted to say this because it helps me a lot because, uh, you know, I'm not following so many rules, but the rules that I follow, I, I pay attention that somehow they stimulate the feelings. Otherwise, they become a desire to control my progress. How somebody explained that in English? Yes, somebody means connection. And bhav means feelings. So whatever feelings I have, in our case, of course, is 
in the hidden path of devotion. He is speaking a lot about Manjari Bhav. So, some Bhava Sambandi means the rules that I follow should support and stimulate and enhance the feelings that I have. They may be very small feelings, they may be just beginning. But this is what my rules and regulations should do, should enhance, like giving water to a, a plant. They should nourish these feelings. They should make these feelings grow. Otherwise, these rules and regulations can work against us. Uh, at least I want to speak for myself. When I try to do more, and uh, I... I, I, I uh, I notice that I'm doing more than I can. I try to do more than I can. Then uh, this works against my feelings. So this is the meaning of Bhava Sambandi. I should do something that I can do uh, spontaneously, almost. You know, just a little bit of endeavor can be there, but not too much. Otherwise, I'm trying to control my progress and I'm trying to control my feelings. But even Raghunath Das Goswami, when he has his uh, spurtis and he's dying of feeling of separation on the banks of Radhakund, he says, I cannot control these uh, visions. Visions come of their own accord and sometimes they go and I cannot help. They come and go as they wish. I cannot uh, make them happen according to my desire. So this is what I... more I explain this. Uh, how some manji meant this, uh, that manji bhav and related with that manji bhav. Yes. Somebody is practicing friend bhav. Somebody practicing in the motherly bhav. Yes. So motherly bhav samadhi. Yes. It doesn't really matter which bhav we have. But if we want to practice raga anuga, we should not think that I can control bhav with a very big endeavor. This is wrong. To this know will, to all details yes. that bhav sambandhi is related to your feelings. That way you have to grow. Means somebody has a motherly bhav, so he 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 has a, also bhav, but he don't like to man, to be a dasi of radhika. He's a mother bhav. So his uh, rules is motherly rules will work. Uh, yes. And friendly has a friendly rule will yes. work. <laughs> this is the rule. Yes. And uh, Manjari has one rule that he will not see in dream to Krishna. Yes. This is Manjari our rule. Yes. If it's Krishna come in your dream, <coughs> you don't recognize him. Yes. This is Bhav Samadhi. Yes. One pointed to Radhika. It's very different. <laughs> Even if Dream Krishna come to catch you, you deny to meet with him. Yes. But here you see Radhika always sending to Manjari to go and meet with Krishna. What is this? It's a different purpose. Purpose. <laughs> <laughs> she fixed. She knows yes. that he's so fixed in me. He can go. He can do this. So in beginning, we don't want to to accept even in dream to Krishna because that Radharani accept us as a mandri is a lover myself. That is the point. Yes. But his all service of Radha and Krishna is there. But in the beginning, we have to one point. Yes. That is the rule of the Mandiriva. 
Even the dream is Krishna coming, you are Saki, you are Sachari, you are Gopi. You cannot be a Maji. Yes, Narayanaraj says that it has to be, everything has to be connected to your power. Yeah. If it's not connected, it that is the rule. Yes. That rule has to change. Yes. Yeah. That rule. So, shut it off. I, I, I want to share something. Oh, my dears, hard embrace to everybody. And I just, something came to my heart right now. I wanted to share with all of you. And that is about that words what, uh, what our Gorasunda spoke before, Goranga Sunda. That was about the insecurity of Radha, right? That right? You said that, no? It's like Radha feels insecure. And um, what I feel in that moment is that you have to feel you have to feel in love, insecure. Otherwise, it, otherwise it becomes stagnant. Otherwise, it becomes like an ocean without waves. If you are in front of an ocean without waves, it's boring. It's stagnant. But as soon as it there is a insecurity you want more you don't want to be satisfied with this so then then they can translate <laughs> so, yeah. and then when you are satisfied with something it's done it's stagnant but when you feel there's more to do then it becomes dynamic and the dynamic on an ocean is the wave. And the wave is love. This is Radharani's Mahabhav. That is increasing the, the stagnancy of an ocean that makes it live alive. That's why we always should be like this. We should never be satisfied. How are you, how is, how are you doing in your bhajan? When you ask, somebody asks you. Uh, I, I remember with Sula Siddha Maharaj, I was sitting at his lotus feet, Guru Maharaj, Sula Siddha Maharaj from, from Navadvip, from Chaitanya Sarasvat Mahat, and we were sitting there and he was saying, if somebody is asking you, how is going your bhajan? You always have to say, still something is missing. Never say, it's done, you're satisfied. No. That means but real bhajana kriya. That means activity. You always want to do more and more and more. This is what is actually, that makes dynamic the process. And love is dynamic. Love is not stagnant. Rade, rade. Very nice. <laughs> No. no, I remember one past time. No. Um, I think uh, this is a good. Govardhan, Krishna's Baba was some somebody. So they are doing bhajan, and uh, many uh, sadaka was doing bhajan. And uh, one day, one devotee was meditating. Radharani and hand. And then Radharan is kind of uh, this, let's say, this fingernails. fingernails. It's so beautiful and uh, so much, uh, let's say, like uh, spread, uh, uh, effulgence. Yeah, effulgence. It's so beautiful. That person could, you know, cannot meditate anything else. And then all Bajan was meditating that fingernail and his that uh, effulgence. So and then many hours passed away. Then he he asked he he went to Baba and Baba is asking, What's your bhajan? 
And then that that devotee saying, Oh, I could not do any bhajan today <laughs> because I was meditating leader, but I just stuck <coughs> radicals fingernails so beautiful i could not move my attention just watching that fingernails effulgence so today i could not do any data smart enough like this mm. <laughs> then baba is saying, wonderful <laughs> this is about <laughs> <laughs> so i i'm feeling Mahababa means great, greatest feeling. So means the greatest happiness, also same time, greatest humbleness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So therefore, if we lose humbleness, like Tunade Pisni Jena, Tarori Basahi Shunna, Amanina Amandena. If we we if we lose that mood, meek and humble, then we cannot do any bhajan. Yeah. So Radhanani was representing also Raghunath Das was representing that mood. Radhanani is most wonderful cook because she got the blessing from from Durbasa Muni. But still she was thinking, oh, maybe today I cook not nicely. Maybe Krishna may not like today's sweets. Maybe something missing. This mood is really, really <laughs> Mahabha's feeling. <laughs> that's uh, I that's the fact. Well, uh, <laughs> Jai Radhe, all beautiful Vaishnavas, thank you very much for enlightening us with your nice words. And if you allow me, there's a few more sentences so we can conclude this. Yeah, sure. Sri Banga Bihari Vidyalankara writes, Sri Radhika is called Devi in this text because she is the eternal consort of Deva, Achyuta. Srimad Bhagavat ends with, of all the gods, Achyuta, infallible Sri Krishna, is the greatest. Therefore, all the goddesses, Sri Radhika is also the greatest. Mm. Yeah. Sri Haripada Shila sings, O Gunavati, qualified girl, Radhe, O oh my mistress, I pray to you so fervently, uh, means burning with desire. When will Sri Danishta, your dearest girlfriend, most carefully hand me Krishna's food? remnants. When will I carry Krishna's remnants on my head and place them before you? When can I feel my eyes with the sweet vision of Unmadini Love intoxicated, right? Seeing and smelling that prashad. Yeah. Un Madini Gurudev. 
ecstasy of highest love in the stage of one mark complete transcendental madness Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, yeah? Yeah, Mahaprabhu. Yeah, he manifested yeah. also. Yeah. In Gambira. So all Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is you see about talking about Krishna. All Vedas Purana start talking about Krishna. Why? Not devotees who become Anumadani for Krishna, for them, how they rise it. For Radhika, for Chaitanya means Radha, Radha Bhav, we think that, no, no, this is, I start becoming devotee, I have to think like this to Krishna. <laughs> Prabhupada make very clear intent. Hmm. Tanta, Bhagavad Gita, you see. When you fix the goal, Krishna, and assigned with him, how many are assigned that you have to decide? Then what happens? Then you reach slowly but slowly the ultimate goal, Brahim Prayocha. Once goal is bigger, alternative, alternate goal is bigger. Ultimate goal is the ultimate, and goal is any goal. Yeah. <laughs> Many goals, but they can only on one ultimate goal. Yes, so one is a, a tenth pass and one is a graduation, right? <laughs> Guru, today I found that one bus very interesting bus. What? Seven. <laughs> You have to put always in charge, it's not to stay longer. Yeah. I was literally the beating uh -huh. and uh, Ramanandaya met Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and they did the great, great conversation and then Ramananda asking him, who are you? <laughs> and then Ramananda, Ramananda said, at first I was thinking you were sannyasi and with a kind of, you know, saffron cross and uh, I don't know at that time Danda is there, but you know, something Sanya's item. So, but later on, I could see you are having fruit. 
And Tulibanga Larita home. And then Pivko Pet. And then if we see more, and then I could see golden, beautiful lady. With bluish clothes. <laughs> so, she, so that means Raman Raya first he see Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, which is kind of Sandaka Deha. Of course, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, it's difficult to say he's Sandaka Deha, but external thing. Then he could see Krishna. Then he could see more, and he could see Radha. So our vision also like this. At first, we are seeing this kind of sadaka they have, you know, vision. Then we could see on the side of Krishna. So, and then finally, we could see Radha's vision. Like, uh, so, Panchatattva also. So, we are taught by this time, <laughs> Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna himself. And Nita is Barara. Um, but uh, if we see Radha point of view, Mahaprabhu's mood is Radha, therefore Radha. Nita is Anangamanjali. So even so we are a few days we are discussing Gayatri Mantra also. Also Gayatri Mantra, we could see on the vision of Krishna. Also, we could see Radha's vision, means Manjali's vision. So therefore, which vision we should have? Vision come from our fixedness, one pointness. This is a, a I say, uh, uh, this is, uh, what do you say? Uh, if we fix one dasa, point of view, maybe. Point of view. Uh, this is, what do you say, in Sanskrit, uh, I hope. Anyway, Stai Baba. So if we fix one Stai Baba, like uh, if we Manjari, then our vision should be Manjari vision. So therefore, we could see even scripture, even Bhagatam, even Chaitanya Charitamita, which vision we should have it? Which vision we are seeing? And Guru Dev is saying, we are not doing, we are seeing. But which position we are standing in? Which Sai Baba we, we, are, we are going to have? We are moving Sanchari. What is meant Sanchari? Changing. Always changing position. It's like a wave up and down. But the Manjari never change position. Manjari is always fixing one. <laughs> Because they are rather the shadow. So that's I just with my small shadow. That means this is the meaning. What is meaning? If you have a fixed history, you not change. Explain that. The Watashita Chiga. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> 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 
、that means, <coughs> so, which Ishtadeva, which Ishtadeva means worshipable deities. So we, so, we are worshipping Vishnu, or worshipping Krishna, or we worshipping we worship Radha. Manjari is Ishtadeva is not Krishna. Manjari Ishtadeva is Sri Radha. Yeah. Oh. Of Why course, you are hiding a whole thing you are not telling? Your idea, your mind. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> yeah. So, so, but we see Krishna is Radha as Krishna. We never think Krishna is our lover. Yeah. Oh. Even though Manjari Baba also considers Madura Rasa, Shiringana Rasa. <laughs> but uh, we we never we manjari never desire Krishna. Or even never dream it. Yeah, or in dream also not. Yeah, but if I'm a devotee of Krishna and he's very naughty and he's coming in my dream, what to do? Then yeah, our body is already sold. So you cannot do anything for us. <laughs> like we also, we are actually sold our body. This necklace, this this Kanti Mara is we are sold. So the real devotee, we are sold, we, we are no independent. If like a dog, like this, and owner come here. Yes. <laughs> we also same thing. <laughs> yeah, Gurudev say come. Yes, Gurudev. <laughs> Radhika say come, you, Manjari. Yes. <laughs> so this is our, our position. <laughs>